All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we have the SIN 556i here to show you on the channel. I want to thank Chris at Marshall Time for loaning this watch in for us to take a look at. So, guys, I haven't looked at a lot of SIN watches here on the channel. As a matter of fact, this is the only, uh, or only the second one. I looked at the U50 uh, once before, which is also lent in by uh, Chris at Marshall Time, so thanks for that, Chris. And I do, that was a beast of a watch, and I think that this year in 2020, they are now bringing that U1 out, or the U50 out in a 40 millimeter size. So definitely go check that thing out. Um, I'll leave a link to the Zen website down below. So, all right guys, let's talk about the 556i. Now, uh, Zen's famous for their, uh, you know, their pilot's watches and for their dive watches, which are really impressive. But I think this one, uh, in this more simple field watch style, is one of my favorite, favorite offerings from Zen watches. And it, even though it's a field watch, they absolutely build it with uh, German over-engineering. The thing is just a beast of a watch. Now, I, even though it's a beast of a watch in its um, specs and whatnot, the size itself is really, really reasonable. This is a 38.5 millimeter case from side to side, coming in at 47.5 lug tip to lug tip. Really nice thinness, I should say, of 11 millimeters, and that's helpful with that flat sapphire crystal on the watch, and you have a 20 millimeter lug opening on the watch. The dial on the watch is extremely simple and clean. Everything you need, nothing you don't. The indices laid out there nice and bright in those rectangular style indices there. All painted on the dial, nothing is actually applied on here. Very clean, bright white hands on there, almost in a sword style on the watch that look good. And the clean sweep of that second hand there. Everything just extremely, extremely legible. You also have a date complication over here at the three o'clock position. Now the smooth sweep, of the second hand on this watch is provided by the Salida SW200, a really, really great high beat movement, uh, 26 joule movement, beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, and has approximately a 40 hour power reserve. Very, very well used movement, a movement that we're going to see being used more and more in, uh, you know, entry level luxury brands and whatnot as the ETA 2824 is kind of going its own way with the Swatch Group. But really great looking watch here, guys. The case is pretty much all brushed on this watch. You don't really have any polishing, kind of hearkening to that tool watch or that field watch effect. Just really nothing you don't need, nothing really flashy going on with this watch. Just really, really well done. Check out the, uh, it actually has a signed crown on this watch. I'll let you guys see that there. You have the S for the Zen there. Taking a look at the case back on the watch, it is a display case back, which I know some people aren't big fans of display case backs, but I think on the Zen watches and the fact that they do a little bit of decorating to that rotor and really make it look good, um, the watch has done really well. You can see on the back of the watch and the information about the watch, these are 200 meters waterproof, which is pretty impressive, or water resistant, I should say, for a, a field style watch, something basically you can use this watch for doing anything. I mean, even though it's not rated as a diver's watch, at 200 meters, you could use this thing for underwater or a snorkeling, scuba, that type of thing. It's not going to really be that big of a deal with a 200 meter watch, but really, really great looking piece. These ones will set you back on the used market, I think around 11 or 1200 bucks. I think new, they're about 14 to $1,500. I've never owned a SIN myself, but I think they're really, really well built watches. Now, when I talk about like the over engineering, I mean, just, just the amount of work that goes into the bracelet of this watch, you can see these hex head screws that are holding the bracelet together. The buckle assembly and the clasp assembly on the watch is just super, super well done. You can see your um, your stainless steel logo uh, there. I do believe that is in German, most likely. Um, just a really, really well-built watch. They've always had uh, Zen watches. They're just so, so well done. So let's go ahead and pause it. Get this watch on my 7-inch wrist and be sure to stick around for the loom shot because this one has really impressive loom. Well, a 38.5 millimeter case fits extremely well on my 7 inch wrist. That 47.5 lug tip to lug tip sits just right in the middle of my wrist, nothing hanging over, and I really, really think it looks good. Now, it's a little bit big on me. This watch is sized for Chris at Marshall Time, and he's got a 7 and a quarter inch wrist compared to my 7 inch wrist. But even at that, it fits on the wrist incredibly, incredibly well, and uh, kind of dangerous because it makes me want to sin a little bit because this is a a Zen watch. It makes me want to Zen watch a little bit. So anyways, guys, let's check out the loom on this one. All right, guys, so here we go. We'll loom this one up. Shouldn't surprise you guys. They're using some Swiss Super Luminova on this watch, and it really glows nicely. Going to glow all night the way a field watch should, and definitely, definitely looks good doing it. So guys, the Zen 556A, really, really great looking watch. Thanks to Chris and Marshall Time for loaning this in to the channel to take a look at. So guys, like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.